this is the site, and what we found very interesting on this site was the connection, also the interaction towards the city that we can see in the last slide over there. And we found also that the, there's a very, very density of the vegetation that allows a natural visual screen. And also, we can see that in those images, that there's also a connection with the sky, and also with, in this vision, in this visual, and this visual um, connection towards the city, like I said. The vegetation does, does not only act as a visual screen, but also because of the relationship. It protects and serves as a protection and also as a shelter. Okay, so this diagram explains us more of, about the connection towards the site, which is over there, and towards the connection with the with Pichonville, the city, and also with port prince because we have a full screen about the... the <coughs> Okay, so what we mapped um, on the site, given our interest, which was the visual screening that um, the, the vegetation created. So what we did was um, take uh, just shots looking forward um, in certain points so that we could create like this panoramic views that uh, show us the, the, the amount of screening that the vegetation um, gives to the person on the site at certain points. And uh, on this one, we wanted to, um, so we did the same thing looking forward, so we just took um, shots towards the sky to measure like the openness that we had towards the sky. So if it was completely uncovered or if the vegetation created some sort of shelter or protection. Okay, those are some major references that we took that we, we sort of um, got inspired by it too. The reference shows us that the bamboo is very organic and it can have, it can take different shapes, you can it's very imaginable, and also you can do whatever shapes you want basically with it. So if you want to do something that has a lot of movement or like a connection towards it in between, so it's very imaginable and very, very fun to work with, I'd say. So to explain uh, the generation of uh, the forms, so our, mapping um that well the mapping that we did and uh, after we like we assembled the, the the shots on this grid and so the negative gave us um so this sort of pigmentation on the ground that shows us where there's more shadows and when there's more light so when uh we um we, i mean when we kind of started manipulating the form with this image, we noticed that um, the pigmentation actually gave us like these tunneling shapes that um, go in relation go in relation with um, our first interest in the site that were the screens. So they actually sort of like go with the idea of like you know looking directing the view specifically in certain in certain parts of the site. And this image, we can read exactly what she was saying. The negative parts are referring to the, the shades that we have from the trees on the sky view, towards the sky. From this image, we, we could, um, it's, it basically says the same thing for the weaving with the bamboos that is also gonna give us, or gonna put on the site, which is gonna give us the interaction and the connection between the site and the weaving, and also the sh different shades that we have.